Yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Uroy. Uh, if you want to learn about shooting a roll, continue to watch the video. I catch. So, cue that intro. Uh, what's up everyone uh yeah it's probably it's like a few days after the um first part of the um vlog it depends on how long the first part of vlog was when i was hanging out with sally pablo and them, my friends down in um time not yeah Times square and then at their house it's probably like a few days after so depending on how long that first part video is it is might be the next video so Reasons why RAW is so better is because of the fact that shooting RAW, um, a RAW file holds a lot more data than a JPEG file. So with JPEGs, you can only edit it so much before it starts to fall apart, it gets all grainy, nasty and stuff. While if you was to um, take a photo with a, say, um, you know, take a photo with a RAW photo, even though it takes a lot more space, it does give um, a lot more data for you to play around with so that if you want to like edit it, like if you need to recover some shadows or something or lessen the highlights, stuff of that nature, you can because you have more data to play around with and it'll take a lot more work for the file to get a lot grainier and nasty. It's really good for, um, it's really good, it's really good for, yeah, as I said, get a lot of data and stuff. Uh, with shooting raw though, um, you do got to be mindful that if you shoot a lot of raw photos, it's a lot more memory that you need to, um, in order to have stored those raw photos. Reasons why? Because it has more data in it than a JPEG. But sometimes you probably want to shoot both, just in case. Like for instance, if you like shooting, um, like some like really important event, or something like that, and you so happens to um, some of your files get either corrupted or messed up or something like that. Or if you, for instance, you have like two, you know, um, two memory cards. My camera doesn't, but I know a lot of professional cameras does. If you have like two memory card slots, you can literally shoot redundantly and have a copy of the um, higher, um, the higher megabits, not megabits, the higher data um, raw files and a lower data JPEG file just in case if something bad went wrong with one of the memory cards and stuff. That'd be upside of having to shoot with um, both. If you, if your camera can, my camera can, but it's gonna be going to one memory card, and that that wouldn't be good for me because I only have like 64 gigabytes of my memory card. So if I start to do that, all of my memory down the drain. So what I'm going to be doing a lot more. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit better because I meant to vlog the entire day of that, but I don't know what happened near the end. We started playing Super Smash Bros and stuff, which was fun. I'm not going front though. I got my butt kicked a couple of times, but I did. I dished out a couple of L's. Just a couple. I would also be trying to practice, you know, transitions and stuff. And um, the next semester, mind you, I'm in college, so the next few classes I am taking would be um, an introduction to digital filmmaking, which that'd be good for YouTube transitions and stuff, and me composing my videos and you know all video related stuff helps me a lot. And then also I'm taking photography as the next class also for that next semester that's coming up now. And then uh, I think business, I think business design or something like that, and art history. Be that, and that's for the next college that I'm going to, which is City College, New York. So yeah, and yeah, if y'all didn't know, yes, I'm in college at the moment, and that's why I'm only doing like one video each week, because I also have you know work. And I am in the process of trying to fill out the application and stuff for transferring to City College New York. Get you more updated about that. But another thing before I go, I do want to talk about eventually um, when a, a probably a future video other than this one is coming out, which will probably be like next week. Um, not next week, but this Sunday coming up as of, well, today's the 16th. Well, this week for January. And then, um, Next week, I'm going to on 9 and 10. I'm going to do a video about the camera gear that I have at this moment and the stuff that I carry with me at this moment. Because obviously, since I'm like like at the start 
of my photography and filmmaking um, career, I will have to, you know, upgrade stuff eventually. So we'll see what new equipment I will get. I'm planning on getting some more stuff soon. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, so I had got this new Prism Cube. I saw this on um, I saw this on a couple of um, YouTube accounts and stuff, and some Instagram accounts where people were showcasing this. Especially Brendan Wolfel, the dude. He's an awesome. He's a New York, I think, a Brooklyn-based photographer. So he's out here in New York. But anywho, he I uh, saw one of his videos and stuff, and I saw some of the effects that he can get with a Prism Cube. And this is like some of the effects if you like hold it within your lens. I think you gotta let me zoom in closer. So like if you you get like these little effects. So yeah, that's what that's what I wanted to. That's I got this and I'm supposed to be getting a globe soon, so I can't wait for that. And I'm gonna save up for another couple of props and stuff for photography. So look forward to that. I will make you videos about using these. The benefits of using them and some other hacks that I did find either myself or on Instagram and stuff to help it easier for you all to try out some things. This can be used for video and for photo. So have fun. Now, just to let you know, this yes, this is a prism cube if I'm not mistaken. So go check this out. I might if I can find the link, I'll leave leave a link down below so you can find out what this is. If you want to buy it or not. This is cheap. I got off a of wish for like like a dollar or so, but plus shipping. So like it came out to be like, I think like, I, I think ten, eight dollars because of, you know the shipping cost and stuff. But yeah, but I see you all next time. I will try to make better vlogs. Well, not try. I will make better vlogs. It comes, you know, natural of me practicing, practicing, and practicing stuff. So. I see you all next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Oh, don't forget. Like, subscribe. If you like this video, like, subscribe. Um, comment down below if there's anything else you want me to do. And also, if there's any tips and stuff you can give me for making better videos or do better photography stuff. Because, you know, I'm I'm in the option of, you know, trying to grow also. So, I love to listen to other people's word of how to grow as a filmmaker and a, and a photographer. So, peace.